Taylor Volt for here for uh, week three's lecture. Uh, as I said in the announcements, uh, I'm not going to be physically having class this week. I have a meeting I have to attend uh, that was just last minute that I got invited on Friday. Um, the uh, videos that for, for this week's lecture, I'll have two parts. The first one, this one, uh, talks about the assignment and lays stuff out for the week. Uh, and the second, second will be based on some of the, the slides that I'll get to uh, later. So first, I want to start with what is the assignment for this week. Um, so that's journal number three. That's primary what you're working on this week. So the first thing is there's going to be some exercises in the video that I'll do, the second video I'll do. Uh, so do include those exercises in the journal as you go through it. Uh, describe your learning process so far on the survey. So just a couple of sentences about that. Uh, what you're going to be working on for this week is getting sort of what I call a lay of the land. Before you do your own survey, I want you to, to go out and do a search for survey papers in the area you think you're going to do. Um, you should journal all of those that you find that are at least, so that are less than seven years old and mostly related to your topic. Get a big list of them. Uh, if there are no related papers, you're either very weak at searching, which I doubt, or you've defined an area too, nar an area too narrowly, broaden it out, make it a little bit broader. You need to find at least five, ideally there should be 10 to 15. If you get 50, then the area is probably too broad, so you know, use that as a, as a scan to find out what's a good search topic to find some relevant survey papers. So I want you to scan, using what we've talked about from last week, uh, at least five of those survey papers, putting a few sentences of notes in your journal for each of those sort of your summary of those from, from your scan. One of those five must be the most cited of the papers you found from your search. One of those should be uh, a cited paper that's at least three years old, uh, and one of them should uh, you know, you know, be, obviously you have five, so you're gonna have some other ones in there. Um, you're, you're, as you read these, some of these, you should be look at some of the key elements of the survey paper we discuss in class. It says critical, but you should say scan. Um, for each of them, I want you to describe the story of the paper using the one sentence story structure. And this is actually a little bit difficult from a scan, but I think you know if you've done if the, they've done a good job, it'll be easy. If not, you will struggle with it. Uh, but I still want you to try. Um, your journal should also discuss why you think the highlight, highly cited paper is highly cited and why the others or why some of the others are not. Okay, uh, as you go through this process, you might be able to identify gaps. So you might want to think of identifying gaps, which I'll talk about in the, in the lecture uh, as you're going through it. Uh, that's ideal, but it might take a deeper reading to really understand the, the, the gaps in the existing surveys, uh, which is not yet required, so you don't have to, but you want to start saying, oh, this one might have some gaps. Uh, you might get some idea of the gaps just by looking at a scan of the references, like, oh, look, if you find one that has no references in the last three years, then, then, then there's a gap. Uh, but there might be topics that you are aware of that, that are not in that, and that would give you some idea of what a gap is. And for all of this, uh, I want you to go through and I want you to generate three or four potential survey paper stories uh, for your own survey with a one sentence story for each. So not a lot of detail, one or two sentences. So that's this week's exercise. We're going to put them together in, in the videos. So before I get into the um, other things. So for this week, um, the other part of the assignment, which does not have any uh, element in your journal is to read uh, chapters five and six from Twist, which is the tactical writing book that I've, I worked on mostly for my undergraduate class, but the chapters on storytelling are very relevant for this uh, course. So I want you to read chapters five and six from the link that's here. Uh, I also have videos on those. Um, you don't have to watch the videos. You can just read the book or you can watch the videos and read the book. Um, there will be a quiz on that, uh, but not next week. It'll, there'll be a little bit more time, so it's the 22nd. Um, and then uh, after you've watched all these videos, there's not, there'll be a second video uh, from me on the survey paper slides. Uh, so watch those before you watch the next video. Uh, I will be available if you have questions, send me an email. I have office hours Tuesday morning and I can swing by the first part of class time. I don't have to leave for my meeting until five, so I can swing by, but I'm only gonna do that if people tell me they want me to. So shoot me a mail, send me a message if you wanna, wanna meet, okay? Uh, so that's the end of this first video.